Hello, everybody. This video is to help you with percent increase and decrease. So if you're struggling with those problems on your homework or on major assignments, so this is the video for you. We're going to go over three different examples. So if you wish to jump around, our first example will be calculating the percent increase or decrease. The second and third examples will be using that percentage to calculate different costs. So the second one will be going over a percent increase. And then the third one will be going over a percent decrease. Okay, but to start off, let's just quickly talk about what um, is happening with a percent increase and decrease. So we have two different cases here. We could have something that is increasing in value or decreasing in value. So if we have something that's increasing, that's when we call it a percent increase. When we have something that's decreasing, we call that a percent decrease. When you actually calculate the percentages for increase and decrease, um, so your percent decreasing will be negative. That's how you know it's decreasing. You get that negative percentage. Um, that negative is not always shown in word problems. So you won't always see a negative percentage when you're reading through word problems, but you could see the phrasing as a percent decrease of a certain amount of percentage. When we are calculating our percent increase and decrease, we do have formulas we can follow. So these formulas, um, you can memorize them if you want to. Most students kind of just remember the process of how to do these problems. So the percent increase and decrease, when you're actually calculating the percentage, you can use these two formulas. Notice there's not a difference in the formulas. They are the same. The only difference is the word increase and decrease. So when you're actually calculating the percentage of what's changing, so that percent increase or decrease, you are going to take your new amount minus your original amount and then divide by that original amount. We always want to divide by the original amount. Sometimes that's referred to as the old amount because everything we're looking at, we want to look at in terms of what happened previously. So in terms of that previous number, are we increasing or decreasing and by what percentage? Um, when you are given problems that ask for the new amount or the amount after tax, the amount after tip, that's when you can get into the second equations. The second equations here, they are different. So make sure you do keep that in mind. When we are increasing the amount, we will add on the amount we're increasing. When we're decreasing the amount, we will subtract off the amount we're decreasing. When you are calculating the amount after that increase or decrease, what you're going to do is you're gonna calculate the amount it's increasing or decreasing by, and then add or subtract that off the original. So these second two formulas, if you remember the process, you don't need to have those formulas memorized. So keep that in mind, you don't have to have these memorized. Okay, so let's look at our first problem here. On July 24, 2009, the federal minimum wage was raised from 655 to 725. We wanna find the percent increase. We are looking for the percent increase. We are looking for percent. So we know our answer is going to be a percentage. It is going to come up as a decimal and then we'll convert it to a percent as the very last step. So since we are trying to find that percent increase, our acceptable answer should be positive because we're increasing and it should be zero point something because we're looking at a percent. We're not increasing by more than that 655. We're not increasing double the amount. So we know that our percentage is going to stay under 100%. Okay, so let's calculate our actual percent increase. So when we're calculating the percent increase, we are going to follow that formula. We are going to take the new amount minus the old amount or the original amount divided by the old amount. So for us, we have 655 was raised to 725. 655 is the old amount. And then 725 would be our new amount. We started at 655 and we raised it to 725. So that 655 is the old amount. We're raising it to 725, which is our new amount. Okay, so then we plug these into our formula. So we are taking that new amount, that 725, minus the old amount, 655, divided by the old amount, which is 655. When we calculate this, we can use a calculator. Just make sure you're very careful with those parentheses. Um, that numerator, that 725 minus 655, we want to make sure we subtract that first and then divide by 655. So when you subtract that 725 minus 655, you should get 0 0.7. And then we divide that by 655. And then once we do that, we get 0 
one zero six nine if we round it to four decimal places. So what this is representing, we take that new amount minus the old amount divided by the old, we got out this decimal. This decimal is representing our percent increase. So it is positive. When it comes out positive, that's how, that's how you know you are increasing the amount. So it's a quick way to double check yourself. Um, the very last step here, after we calculate that decimal, we'd want to turn it into a percent. So this is 10.69%. So in 2009, we raised our minimum wage by 10%. By raising it by 10%, we went from 655 to 725. All right, let's do another example. This example is one we know and love. This one is tipping at a restaurant or any sort of place you could tip at. So you've just ordered a nice meal. Your meal came out to 34.59. You have that bill sitting in front of you. You need to calculate your tip. We're gonna give our server a 20% tip. We wanna figure out how much our meal costs with that 20% tip. Okay, so what we have going on in this problem is this time we are given our percent increase. So that 20% now is representing that percent increase. So now we know the percent increase, but we don't know the amount after the increase. We're given our bill before the increase. So this would be before the percent increase also denoted as the old amount, original amount, however you wanna phrase that. So we need to take this 34.59, we're gonna tack on 20% of it, and that's gonna give us our total bill. Okay, so I like to break these down into a two-step process. Step number one, let's find the amount of increase. So find the dollar amount, since we're working with money here, the dollar amount of increase. Okay, so if we wanna find the dollar amount of increase, we are going to take our bill, our 34.59, and we're gonna multiply it by that 20%. So to start by finding what we're increasing by, the amount we're actually increasing by, we need to take our rate and multiply it by that old amount. So this will give us 34.59 times that 20%, when we work with percentages, make sure we turn them into a decimal. So instead of writing 20, I wrote 0 0.20, that decimal for the percentage. So when we do our multiplication here, this should give you 694. So what this is telling us is that we have a bill of 34.59 and we are going to tack on 694. This is going to be our tip. So this is what's going to go to our waiter or waitress. Okay, so we find the amount we're increasing by. So our step two is let's figure out the total. When you figure out the total, this is where it's very important to know if it's a percent increase or a decrease. We are tipping, so we're increasing the bill. We're adding money onto the bill, so this is an increase. So we are going to increase here. So since we're increasing to find our total, we are going to take that old amount, and we're going to add on that increase, that tip we found. So we're gonna take that old amount and then we're adding on the old amount times the rate, which is our tip. So then for us, that gives us a total of that old amount, that 34.59 plus that tip, 694. And that gives us our total amount of 41.53. So after everything is all said and done, we are going to be paying $41.53 to the restaurant. $6.94 of that will go for a tip, and then the rest of that will be paying the food and the service that we uh, got from the restaurant. All right, let's do one more example for this video. Let's talk about a percent decrease. So we've done two increasing examples. We've done one where we calculated the percent and then we've done the second where we calculated the new amount given the percentage. Now let's take one where we're given the old amount, we have our percent decrease, and let's calculate the new amount. So an item is regularly priced at $70. It is on sale for 40% off the original price how much in dollars is discounted from the regular price? And then after the discount, what is the price of the item? Okay, so we have two questions here. We need to find the discount and then we need to find the price of the item. 
Okay, so we have a regularly priced item at $70. So the $70 is going to be is going to be representing our old amount, the amount before the discount. So um, when thinking about this problem logically, we should get a number that's smaller than 70 as our answer because we're decreasing. So our answer should be smaller than 70. It's on sale for 40% off the regular price. So that means this is our percent decrease. So we're decreasing this by 40%. Okay. So let's start by finding how much is discounted from the regular price. I'm going to label that question as A. Okay, so when we're looking for how much is discounted, this is just like calculating the tip. We are going to take the original amount and we're going to multiply it by that percent decrease. So the discount or how much is discounted, let me do it as amount discounted. Same way we calculated the tip, we'll take that 70 and we'll multiply it by 0 0.4. And when we take that 70 times 0 0.4, that gives us $28, $28. Okay, so what we have happening here is we have an item that's priced at $70. We are taking 40% off of this item. 40% off of this item is $28. So we're taking $28 off of 70. So our qu second question here, after the discount, what is the price of the item? So after the discount, our price of our item would be that 70 minus the discount. So amount after discount, that would be our $70 minus the amount we took off, minus the amount discounted, which is 28. So then that will give us a total of $42. So if we are taking 40% off of 70, we'd first calculate what 40% of 70 is. That's our 28. And then we take that 28 away from that 70 and that gives us the price of the item. So notice that we are decreasing the price. So we went from 70 to 42. And then notice it's 40% off. So we're sitting above that 50% mark. So 50% of 70 would be 35. We're sitting above that 50 at $42. Okay, so this helps with percent increase. Contact your instructor if you guys have any more questions.